Last year, Etsy saw a big increase in people buying digital stuff, like stickers you can use on your phones or your computers. These stickers became super popular and were one of the top things people were buying. They're easy to make money from, with some sellers getting over $100 per day. You can see it from the reviews. People are just, I don't know, crazy about them. And what's good about this is that you don't have to wait for them to be shipped. You can just download them right away. Plus, artists can make all kinds of cool designs without worrying about making physical copies because people are just going to download the file and they're going to print them out themselves. And some people are just selling huge amounts of these. Have a look at this. 9K reviews. This one, for example, as you can see down there. 23,000 people made a review and this is what we're gonna make today. We're gonna make something like this and something like this. We're gonna use Printify and essentially we'll make things cute and at the same time this is gonna be our niche. I did some research and it turns out that these pet stickers are the best ones. Cats, dogs, bunnies, whatever. People love pets and they just want to have them over on their laptops, on their phones, whatever. That's why they're so popular. So we're going to make an account on Printify because Printify is really, really good for this and it is easily integrated with Etsy shop. And then we will jump into our design suites. So when you make yourself an account on Printify, head over to your store. Then on this catalog, just go and click on other like this, or maybe here on accessories, whatever. Now you just have to search for them. So just type in stickers. Now Printify has more of these. You can just take like, for example, bumper stickers, square stickers, kiss cut stickers. But the best thing is that you make a collection. So for example, I found that if you have four of these on one page, these sell the most. Something like this, let's say. So in order to find these, just type in sheet, all right? Sheet stickers. And there you have it. It's the first one. You can see you pay for this $5.67. 20% less if you are a subscriber, but you don't have to. Just click on it and then just scroll down a bit and click on start designing. This is going to lead you inside of the editor. And as you can see, these are separated. So you've got top left, top right, bottom left and bottom right. So you have to make one separately, all right? So four of these, we have to make them separately, all right? Not everything on one page, all right? Now, people do use Kittle, and I found that Kittle has really good feature. If you click on new project, they've got these POD presets. This means print on demand presets, and they have partnered up with Amazon, Printful, Redbubble, and of course, Printify. As you can see, sticker sheet. Now, you don't have to pay for Kittle just to get this. Good idea is to take this, just remember this. So it is 825 by 525, just remember it. And then you can use Canvas free tool, all right? So just head over to custom size and then just type that in. As you can see, pixels, I've used it before, click on it, and then we're inside of the editor. Now, there are two ways in which you can get these pets. You have the graphics already on canva.com, but you can use any other AI tool in order to make these pets. You can make whatever. And you can use Leonardo.ai. This is free. You can use Midjourney, but of course, you know that for Midjourney, you got to pay a bit. But if you use Leonardo, I like that it can give you the prompt. So for example, you enter a basic prompt idea here. For example, like cute bunny eating carrots or just carrot and you just type in clip art and then you click on the ideate and you are going to get for example four prompts to use and all you got to do now is to click on generate button here and then of course it's going to make you something really weird like this one is right ai tools in order to fix this you just have to change the models here but then again it'll take a lot of time you have to get these prompts and models right if you have the patience for it you are gonna get a really good result. But I just like to use the next thing. First of all, head over to your canvas, then click on it and change the background. Let's say something like this, all right? Now the next thing, head over to the elements, search here on elements, and then you've got the graphics here. Click on graphics and now you can search for bunnies, all right? So for example, bunny, just type it in. And of course, you're gonna get a lot of these. Just search through it until you find something that is good for you, looks good to you, it's cute, you think it's gonna sell, and then just move it over. Now, always increase the size of it, all right? Increase the size of it, 
so it fills, fits the whole screen. But I'll just add a little bit of a text here in order to make it more appealing. So I'll head over to texts here and I'll choose certain style, certain font. Let's say this one. I like this one. I'll place it here. And of course, I'll just make it smaller and I'll change the text inside of it. I'll delete everything. And I'll just type in bunny, maybe add a heart or something like that. Or maybe love bunnies, like let's say love bunnies. I'll make it in a circle, let's say. I'll place it like this and I'll move everything a bit down like this. And now in order to make this one part, I'll just download this to my computer. Click on download and click on PNG. Then just add another page here. So another page, let's just do it like this, another page, same background, and then just upload the one that you just downloaded. Click on upload here, choose that image, then just move it over. The background is same, so you can just now increase the size of it, of course. Just don't let it lose the quality. Now it's gonna be okay. And then click on the image and click on edit photo. And down there, you've got these effects. It's called shadows. It's really good for making something look like a sticker. Click on the glow animation here. Size can be like, let's say, then blur amount has to be zero. Intensity should be all the way up to 100, let's say. Don't worry, it looks like this right now. But as soon as we change the color to white, now it looks like, like a sticker, right? Maybe I can reduce the size of it. Maybe it's gonna be better like this. You know, you just have to make it look nice just to look at like a sticker. Sometimes it's good to connect the letters, right? So you can see now they're separated. It's gonna be hard to peel off, but now you just have to like connect the letters. Now it's gonna be good, really good. Of course, just increase the size a bit. And now this is your first sticker. Download it once again. And here it is. This is our sticker now. What do you have to do now? Go over to Printify. Click on the upload here and add your first bunny. This is now your first bunny. You can rotate them, whatever you like, but I'll just keep it like this. And now we've done with the first one. Now we have to make all of the three that are left. All areas, you can see how it's gonna look like now, but we have the first bunny done. Now, I do suggest that you take a look at what other people are making, and yeah, if you're gonna make bunnies, just make four bunnies on the one page, or maybe you can just go one step further and you can add more of these, like for example, these cats. So yeah, if you're gonna stick to cats, just stick to cats and make these mock-ups, all right? Make the mock-ups for people to see how it's gonna look like if they, for example, put it on their phones, whatever. And yeah, this person, for example, they made seven cute cat stickers and it's a digital file as well. It's not so expensive. This is on a sale as you can see. So yeah, you will have to sell a lot of these. And what do you have to do in order to increase your sales in Etsy? Well, just put out a lot of content, right? Create like five of these per day. It's not gonna take you a long time, but you are gonna get noticed more easily. More people will see your stickers and of course more people will buy those stickers. And honestly, it's not so hard. Just like all of these other ones, just search for something, make it on screen. I prefer to add text, but you don't have to add text. You see that all these other people, sometimes they put texts, usually they don't, but I found that I sell these the most, like for example, this one. I like this one, I don't know. It just looks good to me. And then play with that shadow that I've shown you. Just click on shadow, click on glow, increase the size of it, reduce the blur, increase the intensity once more. Now, some people leave it black. Yeah, sometimes these are the black ones, but I prefer white, but you can always change this. So yeah, black or white, whatever feels better for you. I feel if like the outline, you see the outline here is black, the cat's outline is black. So white is gonna be better. And then you just play with the size. What do you wanna make with this? But if the outline is grayish, like this one, as you can see, the color should be maybe black, you know, because it's gonna pop out more. As I've told you, just play with it. And yeah, it's gonna depend on what kind of sticker you have. Always go to graphics here and then just search through. Once you're done with it, once you have all the products, click on save product and then use these mockups, right? The good option on Printify is that they will also give you the option to like make these holographic, you know? So if you've got holographic, you've got transparent and you've got white. And you can have a look on 
how all these are looking on a piece of paper on certain mockups. But if you want to get more of these mockups, you can find them online. One such website is Creative Fabrica. There's a lot of these mockups here. You can just search for them. Maybe just search for stickers mockups. Yeah, those work the best. As you can see, laptop stickers, transparent sheets. But then again, there's a lot of mockups here on elements. You just have to search for photos and then just search for mockups. And there you have it. There's a lot of free mockups on canva.com as well. So it will take time, but if you're consistent enough, if you work hard at it, there's going to be good money in it as well. It's popular. So jump on a train and wish you good luck.